Welcome and thank you for joining us for the Behind Enemy Lines podcast on iAxis Radio. Hold on to your seats and enjoy the podcast. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that notifications button for future shows. iAxis Radio, the future of radio and podcast, no limit. iAxis Radio, WIAX, the future of radio and podcast, no limit to what we do. Hello, it's me, CEO. Now let's get behind enemy lines with Wiz Wiz and Gatekeeper on IX's radio. That's an end quote. What I don't say, I attempt to show. On a journey through night, I'm guided by the glow. So rest when you check, yes over no. Ever question how I'm feeling? Ain't no letting go. Center on my world, you a living pearl. Say it to the world like I do to you. When I can't find the words, it be getting tough. You put a hold on the time when I get a touch. Get your mind out the gutter. I don't mean that. On this page, I write facts and I know that. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Saturday, and this is Behind the Enemy Lines. I am your host, the gatekeeper, and this is my partner in crime. What up? It's Wes. Time to line up. So you already know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Every other Saturday from 5 to 7 p.m. on our Access Radio. You see the shirt, you see the logo, you see it on the post. Don't act like you don't know what it is. This is the future, ladies and gentlemen, the yes. future of right. all music and podcasts. So if you need to get your kick, your knee, your feel, mm-hmm. right, of what podcasts, yes. music, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They're just some well rounded people that's talking about Man, some good listen. topics. This is where you need to be focused into, ladies and gentlemen. So yes. we got a great episode. So for y'all today, you know, we got a preview of an album that we're going to have on, mm. say about artists. We'll get to that in a minute. Then we got some hot topics that's going to be happening. We'll get to that in a minute, right? But before we get there, you ladies that are watching right now, you got to like, share, and subscribe to what we got going on. Say it again one more time. You got to like, share, and subscribe you to ladies. what we got going on. And ladies... And why are we saying the ladies? Behind the Enemy Lines, if you don't know, is a podcast where we talk about relationships from the male's point of view, but we don't exclude the ladies. ladies. And that's what we're going to do. So make sure y'all in tune. We got some, we got some things happening, all right? Yeah. So at about 5.15, we're, we're a little bit behind time. So I'll say about 5.20, 5.30, we're going to go into our interview, okay, with Vero G. We're going to let y'all know who that is in a minute. And then we're going to hop right into these topics that we got. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Then around 6... 615, 620, something like that. Mm-hmm. We'll have what we call a wild card. And the wild card is a topic that 
can be voiced by the people that's watching. It don't got to just be what me and Wiz is no. talking about. All right, so if you got a topic, you can put it in the chat. Okay, shout out to Vocals by Jamel. And while we saying what's up to Vocals by Jamel, you see it right what there. I... Voice the Life T, ladies and gentlemen. She's one of our sponsors. Hey, that T is good for what? Singing? Singing and all Arguing? Yep. Yeah. And things that you do when you're with your partner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Right? Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all come and get some. Because we got the tea. We got the tea. Voice the Life tea. Make sure y'all get that, man. Very, very, very popular thing mm -hmm. that we that we want to promote and let That's the people right. know that we have going on here. So, like I said, we got the wild card. And the wild card, like I said, is a topic, all right, that we don't have to have. You guys, all right, y'all, this is why we don't have a whole bunch of other hosts in here because everybody that's in the chat room is a co-host of the show. So if that's you got right. a topic you want to talk about, you want to talk about the election a little bit, feel free to put it in there and we'll bring it up and talk about it. But if you don't, if you don't, I do got one for him. Yeah. I got one for him. So you we got, got the wild card for him right. happening at about 6.15, 6.30. Shout out to D Chorus in the building. Shout I out access Jamel. family. Um, then we got Campbell the pressure Blaze. check, all right? For y'all that don't know, the pressure check is another segment, okay? Because we're going to debate about some things after this interview. We're going to debate about some things. And maybe I got it wrong. Maybe you ain't got it right, Wiz. Mm -hmm. And if we ain't got it right, we're going to reach out to one of our peoples, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. in the Rolodex. I'm not old, and we used to, I remember Rolodex, mm -hmm. all right? And we're going to randomly call somebody. We're going to get their take on it. See, that's why I got the beard still looking scruffy right now, you know what I'm saying? Because okay. it's like the witness protection program, you know what I'm saying? So I want people to know that they're safe when they come on, all right? Shout out to Cannibal Blaze. And if, uh, you know, we might have something special from Cannibal Blaze today, you know what I'm saying? Better okay. green entertainment. So make sure y'all stay in tune to that as well. And then, of course... You know what's happening after the pressure check, Wiz. What's happening after the pressure check, Wiz? It's when mm -hmm. strangers become family. Uh huh. Right? And mm -hmm. we got the Chucky's cut. The Chucky's cut. All right? Then that's what we want to do. We want to take the independent segment, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, that we have for all artists, where you can reach out to us on BHLFamily52 at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. BHLFamily52 at yahoo.com. And you can send in your tracks, all right? That's right. And you can get voted to be kept or killed and you yeah. see chucky man you see the look he can't that's wait right. to catch a body so make sure Word. your music is proper you know what i'm saying because it's not up to me mm -hmm. it's not up to wiz nope. once again it's up to all the oh, viewers God. that's watching y'all get the vote on the tracks that the artists sent in and like i said all you gotta do is reach out to us to find out what you gotta do to get those songs sent in yes. mp3 format is the only thing we take and we take everything yeah. we take rap we take hip-hop hip we take yeah. folk music we take yeah. Uh, reggae, whatever. reggae. We take spoken word. We take beats. All if you that. got beats, send in the, the beats. beats. Don't be holding back on us. Yeah. Why are you holding back on us? All right. So don't be afraid, ladies and gentlemen. And after the interview, we will have the lines open. Okay. And if you want to call in, three four seven seven zero eight zero two one six. Say it one more time. Three four seven seven zero eight zero two one six. That's the call in number. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Call so if us. you can't type fast enough, okay, feel free. To call in and say what you want to say. And if you all don't right? agree, be like, uh uh, that's not right. That's not call right. Call in. Call in. Don't be call afraid, us. all right? We love friendly debate, all right? Shout that's out to right. Des Green. He's in the building. He said, What up, Uncle? How you holding up? I'm holding up pretty good. You know, these two legs are still doing well. So, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hop right into it every other Saturday from 5 to 7 p.m. Me and Wiz, we can't stand each other. Nah, but for the next two hours, we're going to get along. We can get along. Maybe, yeah. We're going to get along. Yeah, maybe. All right, so we're going to hop right into it, ladies and gentlemen. We got a video that we're going to... I'm about to knock it over. <laughs> See, that's how we just what? don't get along. What? You know what I'm saying? Ahead. You know what I'm saying? We got a video that we're about to show y'all from the artist that we're going to be interviewing. Uh, her name is Vero G. You know what I mean? And we're going to show you one of her videos right mm -hmm. now. And then we're going to bring her up, and we're going to get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said, strap in. That's what the young boys say. Strap yeah. in. All right? Pause. There ain't no pause. This is the grown man show, man. Ain't no pausing. I'm pausing. As my man Jada Kiss said, you know what I mean? Shout out to Sandy Solder in the building. As Jada Kiss said, a grown man shouldn't have to say no homo. So I'm not doing it, all right? If there's something wrong with you, is you mad the way I'm eating my pickle? That's your problem. <laughs> So, like I said, share the live, ladies and gentlemen, and get ready for this video from Vero G. And we're going to play it right now, ladies and gentlemen, behind the enemy lines. I, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, before we do that, okay? And you this you had one job. You had one job. You're supposed to say, nope, we got a birthday. I'm, I'm saying. No, what are, you saying? what are you saying? 
It's so much. Golly, yeah. now I gotta do everything around here. What? It, it's somebody's birthday in August. Yes, so it's a birthday. Me, me and this stranger here. Uh, we're on our seventy fifth show. Seventy fifth show, ladies and gentlemen. Seventy fifth. Word. Seven five. Seven five. So we it's a great than the way. President. It's a great way to bring in the birthday shout out. Shout out to our friend. Our family, our sister, yes. you know what I'm saying? Mother, grandmother, yes. Red Spice, happy birthday from you, from iAccess Radio, all the shows up here. Um, your seat is always available at this station, at this spot. And I don't think I just speak for me. I think I speak for everybody at iAccess Radio yes. when I say happy birthday. We love you. We want love you to enjoy your, your your day. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you and your Knicks. I'm a Bulls fan, but for today it's your birthday. Shout out to you, your Knicks, and everything you else got going on. So we got a little something from you, for you, from me and our Access Radio, Wiz, Al, and Chucky. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So happy birthday to you, Red Spice, from iAccess Radio, all your fans and everybody that loves you, all the Nick fans and everybody, the Nick family, New York family, stand up. Happy I'm birthday, Red Spice. Over. What? I'm glad you didn't say the Giants. Oh, what? Giants fans too. Watch your mouth, right? It's yeah, a New York thing. Right? It's a New York thing, right? Mind your business. Yes. And D Chorus, we, we, we saw what you said, D Chorus. We're going we gonna to get to you later, all right? <laughs> so with that being said, let's roll right into the show. We got the video coming up. Vero G, crush on you on Behind Enemy Lines, our access yes. radio. Let's roll. <laughs>
crush on, I got a crush on you. Behind the Enemy Lines podcast for part two. You definitely been, you know, a supporter and uh in the chair over here before. So congratulations on everything that you're doing and uh the much success that you're having to everything that you have going on, awards, magazines, you name it. You're making it happen. Vero G. So Vero G, tell us, tell the world who don't know too much about you that missed the last episode. And if you missed the last episode, you better go back and watch it, all right? Go back in our archives and get it when she was here on Behind the Enemy Lines, all right? So for the ones yeah, for the ones that haven't, you know, seen that show in the episode, tell them who and what Vera G is and where you're from. Yes. First and foremost, I'm going to thank you guys again for having me. It's been a while, and um, just thank you so much. I, I'm humbly grateful for this opportunity, and just thank you. <laughs> always, always. Definitely, definitely. So um, just a quick sum up, as you mentioned. Um, you know, I am an artist. Uh, I'm an author. Um, I do a bit of things here. I also do community work as well. For many activists, uh, I do a couple of things. We're actually, I just want to also plug that on here in the show as well. We're doing our second annual toy drive, uh, here in New York City. Um, you're more than welcome to be a part of it, guys. If you're interested to come through, support, uh, we're asking just right now for any toys, uh, wrapped or unwrapped. We're gonna talk about it in a minute, but I'm, I'm gonna focus you just in general. But I am in, um, yeah, just mostly it's a music, Arthur, um, actress. Um, uh, you know, I also have TV, radio, magazine as well, besides what I do on as my own thing, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> and tell them where you're from, man. You gotta let them know where you're from, though. Where you from? Yes, I, I, well, I'm, I'm actually born and raised here in New York City. I, I they call it the East Side, East Village. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm mixed between two places. It's, of course, down here in East Village or New York City, as we call it, and also the Boogie Da Bronx. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right in the building, always represented. Um, like I said, you know, this is not a full interview. It's more about the preview of the album. So we, we yeah. want to before we get to the yes. gut of that, of this preview of the album. I mean, so tell us about the title, A Brand New Me. Tell us what's brand new about you and what's brand new about this music. Yes, definitely. Uh, so as you know, I have other, I have released other previous albums out there for some time. But um, this album is very close to me for a couple of different reasons. Uh, one of why uh, it's my mom who just passed away uh, this year in May. So um, with her passing, it really hit me hard a little bit. And she had a big role into me as being who I am today as an artist and getting me pushed into the music industry. So, she, yeah, it's really a dedication album to her, but also um, it's an honor album. But also with the album itself, A Brand New Me, how I decided to put that concept in the album and the name of it is, um, you know, as an artist, we all have a development, a growth into our journey. And I think with this particular album, you guys are going to hear um, me not excelling more in the artistry point and my my vocals and, and the way the concept of the song, they become into like another world, like a movie, and you get to hear the story telling it to the best way. So I think a brand new me is like a new chapter, new leaf for me, um, just pretty much what I'm going through in my life. Okay, well, you know, after last night with Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? If it's good, oh my God. you know what I'm saying? Netflix might like, pick you up, you know what I'm saying? They promoted a lot of movies and stuff dropping. So, you know what I'm saying? Good luck to you on that, you know what I mean? And, you know, that's really uh, special that you're able to put something out with that much meaning behind it. So, you know, brand new with that connection, I can see why you decided to go with that title and concept. Now, like I said, preview so you know we're gonna make it about getting into the song so we got three songs that we're gonna play and after each song plays i want you to uh kind of just give you know not too long but just a breakdown of why that song and what came about and why that song was on the album so for the people that might not get it through the three songs that we're gonna preview because it's a preview like I mean, you got to go and buy the album you got to support you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's what we ask support around behind the enemy lines. Well, like support, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I got right. hit, I was a supporter. Yeah. And then I turned around and asked him and he became a supporter. That's why we have the artist segment and why we do these interviews. But we do talk about topics, so don't go nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. We got some topics. We'll start some stuff. <laughs> right. So, you know, support is very important. And trust me, we see who's supporting. And uh, as uh, my man said, I'm keeping receipts. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, 
for the people that are watching, you know what I mean, that might not get it through these three tracks that we're about to play, um, if you had one song from your whole album that you knew, once they heard this song, it would make them go to the stores. I mean, speed through the stores. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a Black Friday situation. Thanksgiving coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Black Friday <laughs> Speed to the store and get this album. If you have one song, you know what I'm saying? If Eminem said that, if you had one shot, mm -hmm. what is the song that people need to hear off this album that's going to make them say, you know what? I got to go hear that girl from the Bronx, Vero G. I got to have that right now in my system. What's that song? Oh, God. It'll be the one you guys love to play. It's called Scars. And that's mm. one of the big singles I felt. Out of all the songs, this one really hit home. And I feel like people are going to resonate with it because it's talking about pain. It's talking about situations that matter relating, relating to pain they could relate to. And I think when you hear the vocals, it's going to be something you've never heard before. Yeah. Okay, okay. So scars, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of scars, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But I hit bumping and bruising. This is why we behind enemy lines. So I, I can definitely respect that. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna introduce and I'm gonna let you introduce scars and then we're gonna play that. And we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna have you talk about it a little bit and we're gonna roll right into the second one and the third one. So you just go ahead and do your thing. And you are you you a host, you know how this goes, yes. you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> sit back and we're gonna watch you moderate our show. How about that? <laughs> So let's make it happen. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. So, guys, uh, this song again is called Scars. Uh, it's based on the album called A, Be A Brand New Me. It's out now. All digital platforms will support it. I appreciate you. You know, if you can share, tell a friend. You know, put it out there. Again, it's called Scars. Let's go, Scars by Vero G. That's right. Oh, oh y'all. Oh, y'all thought y'all was gonna keep rocking the whole song. No, this is preview, ladies and gentlemen. You know how you go to Costco's and they give you a sample. See, we, we let it rock a little bit. So you had two samples. You know, came around like we didn't see you twice. Now, Vero G, tell us about Scars a little bit, and we're gonna roll into the next one. Yes, definitely. So Scars um is actually based on somewhat of a true story. Uh, me going through a lot of things, you guys know. Um, but I feel like this particular song. It, it's elements of different things I went through in life in my childhood, and so like I wanted to put this out there and to be solidified with this uh this song itself, and you know people to resonate with either by, by pain, scars that they went through in life, and to you know, also to hear through it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, when I listened to it, when you sent the music in, you know, say I could feel a connection to that hook, you know what I'm saying? And and I feel with the right type of work, you know, that that can be somewhere that can be on a soundtrack for a movie somewhere, because it just feels like you can hear that, that scar, 
vocals. You know what I'm saying? I can't really sing, so I'm not gonna do it. That's why I was vocals by Jamel. Go and get y'all some of that life tea, and sure. you get you some of that 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 coaching. <laughs> Get you, get you caught up. You know, I, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to roll into the next song. What's the next song? Uh, yes. So the next one we got, I believe, is a brand new that's based on the, the album itself, the song. And um, I feel like this song is really going to hit more close to home as well. Do you want to go with brand new or do you want to go with young girl? Because I think we got young girl a second. Uh, okay, young girl's fine. Younger. All right, so so we're going to go with Young Girl. You know what I'm saying? Young Girl. You know, I want to say the brand new. I want them to get the brand new last so they can want to go cop that new new. <laughs> I got you. And then send them back to the aisle, all right? So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Young Girl by Vero G coming right now. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're live on Behind the Enemy Lines. I am the gatekeeper. This is my partner in crime, Wiz Wiz. And if you don't know where to find us, Wiz, where can they find us at, Wiz? IX's radio is listed at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, 360 Live, TuneIn. What is, I said 365. 365 Live, Tuning You know, Alexa. Alexa. You tell Alexa. Yes. So I just wanted you to know, Virgie, all the different avenues that this is being played on right now, all the different people that are hearing your new album. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the sample and the preview. And Twitch. And Twitch. Young Girl just played. Tell us a little bit about Young Girl. Yes. Uh, this is another personal all song I've written, actually. And um, to entail what the whole song is about is pretty much you know, me talking about me being violated as a rape victim many years ago. Mm. And I felt like this was the song I needed to release that and find a way to not have that demon, as they call it, enter that surface. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of like let it go finally and write it down and never to reveal, to kind of reopen that chapter. So that was the way of my, me kind of putting the concept together with a song called Young Girl and I know a lot of people can't relate to the song, people that know who went through the situation, similar to what I mentioned. And um, I know a lot of people don't want to talk about it because it's a very sensitive matter, and I respect that. And But I think this song, a lot of people can really touch home with this. Well, I want to say, first and foremost, um, congratulations for facing that young person yes. in the mirror. And it's a lot yes. of us that have to do that. And that's why we have a podcast, and we're talking about the things that we talk about because sometimes the reflection is what we really need to heal and work on. So I congratulate you for taking the steps and taking the courage to uh, put together a song like that because there's a lot of people, um, whether they've been a victim or not. Um, and I think we talked about it on last show, you know, 
the goal is to learn from other people. So, you know, you can probably save a child, you know what I'm saying, or help a child open up to talk about something that happened to them and, and get the proper uh, help that they need right. so that mental awareness can be somewhat protected. Um, Vocals by Jamel said music therapy is very relatable, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, Vocals by Jamel, she's a very um, knowledgeable person, both in music and um, singing, I think you should hit her up, you know what I'm saying, and, and talk to her about the different things and the vision, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was telling my daughter this recently that um, coaching is a life thing, you know what I mean? So if you're trying to get right vocally, you know what I'm saying, I, I think she'll help you take your music to another level. So at the end of the show, you better reach out to Vocals by Jamel because you have a message, and that message needs to make sure it gets out. So that's a, I know that took a lot for you to write that song, but, you know, mm -hmm. as in the, um, you know, like the, you know, I don't want to say, um, what's the, the kind of poet community, you know what I'm saying? We don't give you a couple snaps. You know okay, I'll take that. Yeah. Where's, where's joints messed up, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. we'll give you a snaps. Having the courage to write a song like that. And I hope that inspires other artists not to be afraid to share their story because that's why I fell in love with music personally. Because when people shared their story, you know what I'm saying? It made me understand that I wasn't alone all right and uh, once again vocals by jamel said her message is powerful you know what i mean so mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying follow vocals by jamel get in touch okay. with her you know what i'm saying and, and 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 let her help you take your game you know what i'm saying to the finish line you know what i'm saying they should give right. us respect for that finish line you know what yeah, I'm saying? Finish line. <laughs> all right roll into the next one we've got for a roll into the next one next one go ahead Yes, guys. Um, so the next one is called Brand Me, based on the title itself, Brand Me, the album. And um, I just hope you guys love it. It's like different types of songs, and I want people to just enjoy it. Okay, and before we roll into this, because after we roll into this, we're going to get into our show, you know what I mean, Behind the Enemy Lines. We want to thank you for constantly supporting us, congratulate you on the many awards that you have won, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, before you go, you got to let the people know some of the awards that you won, you know what I'm saying? Let them know where they can find you, where they can find this album, A Brand New Me. Okay, and what else you have going on? Like I said, the toy drive. We're gonna get some more information so I can properly promote it on our next show. But we're gonna be talking mm -hmm. behind the scenes, so you know, so I don't want you to, to seem rushed. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, when you're doing something positive and beautiful, you don't want it to be rushed. You want it to be laid out right. Yes. Not like a Cowboys fan. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a oh Giants guy. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So everybody can really I'm indulge make in him it. a brand new. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? Um like I said, ability to come back, you know what I mean? Because when we have a re introduced customer yes, or man. re a re reintroduced client, that means we're doing something right up behind the enemy line. Yeah, so we, can, we, 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 we we appreciate that you reached out and said, Hey, you know what? This is my new album and this is where I want to do the preview at, you know what I mean? And like I said, it's live everywhere and we want to, like I said, you was a stranger that became friends, family. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And family. So continue to do what you're doing and your musical journey and everything else you're doing. Once again, let us know about some of those awards you won. Let them know where the album is out right now, where they can get it, and let them know where they can find you. And like I said, after that, we're going to roll into a new video and we're going to get into some of these topics. And make, make sure you stay up for some of these topics because we got some hot yes. topics. Right? I mean, one okay. of the topics. Is touch me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Touch me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Touch me, baby. That's what we see. I like when you get faces like that. You know what I'm saying? So, well, it's, it's Thanksgiving. For the people that's Thanksgiving, I said like this. He's scarred. What? So I'm he, scarred. He, I am scarred. scarred right I am scarred. Right scarred. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I am scarred. scarred this is why I got so you know, so Listen, so I don't. His, listen, his listen, 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 fly. Fly. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Save me. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't like that one, we got a Thanksgiving with giving one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you ever been, you ever been in, a, in a situation you tell them you can keep your stuffing. You can keep your stuffing. That's topic. Ooh. Keep your stuffing. You know what that you know what that's about? What if there was what what could a person do at Thanksgiving? So imagine you come to Thanksgiving and you bring in your mate and y'all break up at Thanksgiving dinner. You can Ooh, keep no. How about that one? I know it's very that personally, but um, what are we doing? this is behind any oh. lines, man. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. Go ahead, do what you do, we'll rolling in, the and somewhere, then somewhere tonight, you know, I'm somebody gonna be on the couch somewhere, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be here. 
All right, so, and right after that, like I said, after this third song, a brand new Me by Vero G, we're going to run into a new video by my brother Cannibal Blaze, Stars. So go ahead, Vero G, do your thing. Yes, yes, guys. So just to name a few of the accolades, I'm honored to receive a couple of years now um, in the works, as to say. Um, you know, I had the chance to work uh, with LDM uh, a couple of times. I was one of their uh, award winners for, I think, the landing category, and I think for the song, then Heal You for Gospel as well. Uh, you know, I done a lot of community work, so I received a couple of things for that as well. Um, you, you know, besides that, uh, the, the biggest one I got was the President Lifetime Achievement Award last year. Uh, for uh, B, I forgot the name. Oh God, forgive me. At the award show, oh God, Anyway, but big shout to them. Um, uh, Dr. Harris, thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, for having me being a part of that, and um, just the inspiration of what I received that as well with that. Um, and the community work we're doing, also just the work I, I do in general with the music and everything, and, and just keep inspiring people along the way with that. Um, the album is out now, guys. It's on all digital platforms. It's called A Brand New Me. Please go support it, stream it, share it, sell a friend, sell a friend. This album was very dear to me, so I hope you guys could pass the word and all that, and I really, truly appreciate that. Um, uh, social media, you guys could follow me. Uh, right now, you can follow my Instagram, at officialverog. Uh, also, my Facebook page, uh, my artist page, is at V-E-R-O-2884. Website is also www.verogmusic.com. And again, the song, uh, the, song the album itself is called A Brand New Me. Um, is out now. Support that. And, um, you know, I'll be making some visuals behind that, especially next year for the album. Yeah. Once again, congratulations. We're going to roll into that right now. And make sure you stick around and put all that information in chat so people can get it. Once again, Vero G, congratulations. A Thank brand you. new me. Thank you, guys. Time just passes by Mistakes that were made Setbacks that have ended 